we have an example of a logo, and generally when you're working with logos, you'll be working with spot colors or Pantone colors because when people go to a lot of effort for branding, they want to make sure they have the exact specific color that they want to have. And one way you can work with these colors is to just allow them to be divided into the normal RGB or CMYK if it's something that you're going to want to print. And so you could just use these process colors, but most often businesses want to use their particular spot colors that they've chosen for their logo colors. In Photoshop, if you want to use spot colors, then that's something you would prepare in the channels palette. So in order for this to work, I want to start by selecting one of the colors. So I'll start by selecting the sun. And if I want to add a channel for that particular spot color, I'm going to the channels panel menu and I'm going to choose to make a new spot channel. I want to name it. So this could be for sun, but technically what I really should name it is the name of the spot color. So this is going to be a Pantone color 7406 and C4 coated. put Pantone at the beginning so that we know what we're talking about here. So here's our color and then to choose my color I'm going to click on the color swatch and then go to my color libraries because that's where my Pantone colors are. If I know my number 7406 I can go to my keyboard and hit the number 7406 and that will automatically choose the right color of yellow. And notice the difference between the vibrant yellow that we see in the color library and the color that we see in the document. So we're not going to be too concerned about what happens in the document because we know they're going to mix a special ink and that we'll get the correct color when the item is printed. So I'm going to choose OK and normally I would type my number in at this point and then I'll choose OK again and now I have a new channel here for this particular color. If I turn off the rest of my channels you can see that it's solid black where I want that Pantone color to go. So that worked pretty well. And if I want to set up another spot color for the rest of the green type I can use my magic wand. I'll uncheck contiguous I also need to make sure that I have all of the channels selected and then when I click I should be able to select all of the area that's green so that I can set up my next spot color. So I'll go to the channels panel to the menu and I'm going to add a new spot channel and this time I want 7484 so I'll type in 84 here and when I choose my color, I'll also type in 7484 to get the color of green that I want to use. And then I'm going to choose OK and choose OK again. Notice how much darker this looks than the green that we have. And then choose OK. So now my spot colors are set up. Now, normally you would be working with logos most likely in Illustrator, but you might be putting this on a poster that you've designed in Photoshop or something else and you need to get those Pantone colors and that's how you do it. You go to the channels panel and set those up for print.